Si c'est la première fois qu'on mange un fromage, il faut surtout pas commencer avec le roquefort. Si vous mangez un roquefort l'après-midi et vous rentrez au travail comme, comme si rien n'y était, euh, juste un petit café pour terminer et hop, on rentre travailler, vous êtes devenu français. The first thing you'll need to get started is to get blue, white and red lights. Even if the white light doesn't make you look as white, uh, I was initially put off by this, but even it, it's fine. It's it still works. You'll still pronounce French properly. Don't entirely skip the lights though. It's it's really important. <laughs> Working on your pronunciation and changing it is a social subject. I speak English and I think that's my first language. I'm most comfortable in English. You can say from the accent, it doesn't sound British or American. And that's because there's a stigma attached to changing your pronunciation. Yeah, dude, you just texted me the cards already. The cards? The cards. Ah, d'accord. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Excusez-nous, hein. Pardon? Monsieur, prononce correctement ces mots, hein. Franchement. Je les trouve comme les Américains, c'est tout. Mais reviens. I dealt with this in India too. Every time I binge watched a TV show, I changed my pronunciation a bit subconsciously. I still can't fake a British or an American sounding accent even today. I still say H-I-J-K just because. I still say the car is in the parking lot. It can sound a little different, H, car, but I don't say it because it sounds to me, not just a society, to me it sounds that I'm overcompensating or something, you know. I, it's a it's 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 a mental block. When I was learning French, I didn't have this stigma, however, because the Indians I knew around me didn't speak French. And by the time I moved over here, I slowly adapted to the French accent. My current level of French, I estimate that my pronunciation is the best of the lot. And here's how I worked on it. Nothing is more honest than a recording. If you're too shy of the camera, then record your audio instead and listen to the whole thing. It's very weird at first, but I did this exercise a lot. Instead of recording a conversation with my friends, I would record something on the radio. Then I would pause the radio. You can do that today with the internet. And I would record myself repeating what he just said. Merci d'écouter Radio France International en direct de Paris où il est 22 h This serves for comparison between the two and quickly I started noticing what I was pronouncing differently. I've met some people who've moved from other ethnic backgrounds to France and they've lived here for let's say 15 to 20 years and when they hear a relatively what's considered neutral French accent, their mind doesn't even see the difference between that and their pronunciation anymore. You want to train your ear to notice how different your pronunciation is relative to your goal. So when you listen to people on a French documentary, for example, when the narrator says something, it sounds really weird. They have this narration voice and there is the, even a TikTok artist that I like so much who mocks this narration voice. Ce soir, au château dans This is the Voice, Gaëtan affrontera Justine. Jeune chef pâtissière depuis seulement deux ans, saura-t-elle impressionner ses convives avec son éclair au praliné Pick something that you want to sound like. One of my favorite is Le Moment Maurice by Guillaume Maurice. You should listen to the way he speaks or even Marina Rollman for that matter. Ah non, moi vraiment, je vois pas les couleurs, quoi. Sérieusement Je vois pas les couleurs. Mais tu sais que l'étape d'après, c'est je vois pas les formes, je vois pas la lumière, ça s'appelle un glaucome, hein, c'est dégénératif, il y a des gouttes pour ça, faut faire gaffe quand même. That in France is relatable or is considered neutral. So, for me, that was a goal that I defined. Which brings me to the second point. Define your goal. For me personally, I define it like this. A French stranger on a phone call should assume that I'm French and not question where is this guy possibly from and before you go on this step one step two and step three actually define your goal first and then exercise but you, you you get the point before you do all these things you want to first ask yourself if you want to change your pronunciation if it's a stigma around you and it's going to make you feel miserable because of the way people treat you because that's how society is then maybe don't define this goal and just work on vocabulary or public speaking skills or something like this. I think it boils down to what we consider cool. Like when a f an Indian family, for example, moves to France and they learn French, among themselves, the couple will still speak with their thick Indian accent. And let's say they have kids here in France, the kids go to school and they can't speak like their parents in school because that's not considered cool. Um, and they will learn French the way it's considered cool in school. The parents will stick to the way that they speak French because in their Indian community, among their friends, that is cool and it's uncool to sound neutral. 
you know but if you have the right social settings that permits you to change your pronunciation then rinse and repeat just that this step really worked for me and there's a good chance that it doesn't work for you so uh, try something else i don't know be be creative define that goal and look at where is the gap and try to build the difference there is a professional these guys will help you with your pronunciation and this is usually for kids who have a pronunciation disorder or even for expats or if you're working in a movie or something and you need to have a certain accent for the role then you have these coaches who will train you if my method doesn't work then spend your cash i should have put this disclaimer in the beginning but better late than never if changing your pronunciation is not your goal that's completely fine too when i hear some people with other ethnic backgrounds who are also french i understand everything they say and they understand everything that i say so pronunciation can, is not that big a deal if if it's a goal for you like it was for me in french then you can do it if it's not a goal for you then you can spend your time working on something else but just agree that it's not a goal and stop working on it that way you don't waste your time on pronunciation and you focus on other things hope that was helpful guys i'm working on an online community where i help people learn french so i'll be posting updates about that on this channel too so definitely subscribe to stay updated or stay tuned with that thank you so much for watching and as always <laughs> keep learning my current level of dutch soka and suka Okay, this would be cheating. Neat means no. Het means it. Altijd is always. He something always in the stand. Stand. There is a stand. Al een af uur. Een is one. Half is half. Uur is hour. Wachten is to wait. Ah, klopt. Uh, das het klopt. means um i get it or i understand or that's right if you made it till the end leave a heart emoji so that i know you did <laughs> see you in the next one